in the dark, dark tomb, there was a dark, dark street. And in the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark office. In the dark, dark office, there were some dark, dark stairs. And down the dark, dark stairs, there was a dark, dark room. And in the dark, dark room was where the worst wrestling tropes go to die. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Straight to Hell, the show where my illustrious guest offers up a list of their pet peeves from the world of professional wrestling. Then I decide which one of those gets to go straight to hell, because that's how it works around here. Remember, though, this is nothing like BBC's Room 101. Joining me today is a man with a list of accolades along as my arm, so I'm not going to bore you all then, but the top of those has to be, of course, when he super kicked Jack the Jobber in the teeth. So, Will Osprey, how the hell was that when you super kicked Jack the Jobber in the Honestly, teeth? Honestly, it's up there with one of my favourite moments of life. Me, it's on my bucket list and you've taken it from me. Oh, God, just feeling his teeth on the end of my boot felt real good. If you could do it again, would you do it harder? Oh, mate, I'd love to have a match with him. He's just outside that window, you know, could... Uh... Am I allowed to swear? No. No. <laughs> I'd say I was going to beat the pee out of him. You can say piss. Oh, I just say can't piss. say S. I'd beat the piss out of him. It'd be so funny. I know. We'll, I'd enjoy that. I think he's actually one of my five. Maybe. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how it goes. Right then, let's get cracking with the knacking. Will, your first offering, please. First offering? Uh, I have to say random people coming up to me and asking me to do a podcast. That's that's weird. I like, just podcast. <laughs> so, so many people, podcasts and... Then, Never met before in my life. And some people don't even say, hi, I'm this person, I'd like to do this. And this. I feel like I've explained my story quite enough and I'm just tired of speaking myself over and over again. It's not like they've done anything wrong. Yeah. I just don't want to repeat myself. I was a bit worried there at the start because then you say random people just come up to you and say, come and do this. And you're sat in here doing this with us now. I was yeah. like, oh God, yeah, no, made it already. I like you guys. That's I mean, right. Jack, Jack can go. <laughs> but like, oh, I like you guys. You guys are good. But this podcast is... How did you get into wrestling? Like, I'll just go listen to Jericho, go listen to this guy, go go listen to them. Like, I'm sure if you type in Will Ospreay podcast, you'll find it. Yeah, I mean, I'm all listening to the one with Jericho. Was it nice? Yeah, I enjoyed it. it. So you know how I got into wrestling? No? I can't oh, remember. Right, talk about That's it. probably why. Uh, us wrestling fans, we just don't have the memory span. You listen to that many podcasts, and you think, oh, I've forgotten, which I have. Oh, God. I'm no, not going to actually explain maybe, now. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe that is. Maybe I'm just yeah. Sometimes I just feel like they just want it just because they're just like, oh, it will get us like. You're a name and yeah, that's yeah. But like, I, just, I don't feel like you don't want to listen. Really, you just wanted to, like Jericho. At least I felt like he listened and like it was cool because like he's an idol, he's a hero. Uh, even Scooby's Pip, like I, I love Scooby's Pip's mm. music and uh, my friend, my friend Flash Morgan Webster. But then random people just asking me, I'm just like, no, I don't. I just don't want to talk, I just want to be left alone. Like sometimes when I come away from wrestling, I want to be left alone. I just want to be in my little bubble with my dog, my girlfriend, and just play video games. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're not like the stereotypical wrestler, because when you look from the outside in, you reckon wrestlers wouldn't get sick of talking about their lives, because like, oh, the spotlight's like, on me, and all that. The fact is, I love wrestling, I love everything about it, but just sometimes, just, some people will just catch me on the wrong day, where I'm just like, I'll have a real cool match, and, like, and then someone will just be like, hey, like, do you want to come over here and do this podcast? And I was like, no. And then they'll be really angry at me because I don't want to talk. And I was like, no, I just don't want to be left alone. Is today a good day or a bad day? Then? Oh, it's a good day. That's all I right, came man. up on a Virgin train, didn't drive to Newcastle, so I'm feeling real good. Could be a bit, you know, Virgin trains. Oh, no, I love a good Virgin train. I flew, uh, flew, drove up first class, drove. I mean, sat there and didn't out. <laughs> now, on first class, just like that. Felt I good. mean, me personally, I'm a guy, despite the fact I shout a lot, I like to be left alone. I don't like the, the hassle and making a big fuss in places and whatnot, so I can completely empathise with you here. Mm. So I reckon we might be one for one. Now imagine having 80,000 people, 80,000 people telling you, can you do a podcast? No. I mean, no, that would be hard to do at once, wouldn't it? 80,000 podcasts yeah. at once. Not at once. <laughs> really? i tell you what, if I had every 8,000, every microphone like that, 8,000 might... microphones and just had to do it once, brilliant. Put an do event it. on and just invite every single podcast around, one microphone, everyone gets the same copy. Yeah, do it. Problem we'll solved. Do it, we'll do it in the O2, everyone can buy us a £5 <laughs> ticket. Uh, oh, can we, can do we it? put that on as a Cultaholic show, Adam? Yeah, why not? There we go. Are Coming you, soon. Are you going to do like Cultaholics Wrestling or something like that one day? You're going to. We'll just have the Will Osprey podcast sponsored I'll by Cultaholic. I'll, I'll book myself. <laughs> as long as I'm champ, I'll be there. Just give us a little couple, you're alright. But yeah, I can completely say where you're coming from. You must get sick of going over the same things time and time again. I know yep. I would be. So I've got to go. Ah! Uh, We're going down to hell, Will. I'm you're not there. scared of hell. You're I'm a fearless I'm, I'm, man. I'm already there, mate. <laughs> Don't say that, it's Whoa, lovely. Fasting. Yeah. Oh, no. Do you want to sing Bon Jovi? Uh, no, Did you do that with off. Jericho? 
Yeah, we got real drunk and uh How does he take that when people call him Bon Jovi? Well no, he, no, I didn't I didn't call him Jericho <laughs> Bon Jovi. Like, it does look like to be fair, I don't see it. But no, I just I like singing with Jericho drunk, it's fun. I can imagine that. Yeah. But yeah, podcast bothering folk. Get down there. <laughs> to hell. Right, well one for one, Will your second offering please. Uh you know what? I hate that you deserve it, Chant. I, and you know what? I've, I've hated that chant for ages. Just you deserve it. No one's deserving of anything in wrestling. I just think it, everything should be earned. So if they wanted to ch- change it to you earned it or something like that, even that sounds awful, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? But oh, I just hate that you deserve it, chant because sometimes you'll hear it and then you'll know deep down that that person backstage is a a hole and quiet like some people were like, you you deserve it it's like no they don't like, they've ever one day in their life the horrible human beings backstage you don't know <laughs> you guys just buy a ticket you don't know them in real life you feel <laughs> like walking out on the stage and shouting that when they yeah, do they honestly do <laughs> and then sometimes i will say it and they'll be like no nah, he's definitely in the wrong no i'm not <laughs> i know this person i work with them we've had this before i can't remember who brought it up but the uh, the fact that it was fans like making that judgment call if you actually deserve something, they they didn't agree with that. So what are you like with that? Are you happy with fans? Oh no, I judging love fans. who is uh, no, like, who's deserving of things. At the end of the day, it's their opinion. Like you can't judge yeah. someone in an opinion, no matter what. Like it's their opinion. I'd hate it when they think their opinion is fact, and then that, that's where it gets into a real sticky territory. But now when it just comes to that chart, it's always grinding on. Even when I won the Super Juniors, I came back at York Hall. There was all chanting, "You deserve it," and I was just like, "You don't know my story." Like. <laughs> Like, I'm very appreciative and thank you very, very much, but, like, I could be the biggest arsehole in the world. Oh, I just said arsehole, no. No, arsehole's fine, you just can't say S, F, and C. Oh, in that case, yeah. I could be the biggest arsehole ever, but, no. But, like, no. You know, but to be uh, fair, I'm a lovely human being. Imagine from just, like, a fan's perspective watching you from the outside. You see where you've come from and what you put yourself through during a match and all this stuff, and that would get them to that. That yeah, judgment call, you so. think I'll be right? That's that's that thing between the ropes, and I understand that. But it's that moment they walk back through the curtain, and those people might be buttholes. And right. I don't like those type of people. I like people that are friendly, nice, and easily get along with. And they think that this business revolves around them, and I hate it. I hate it. Do you want to give us a name? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd try. People, someone will be watching this and be like, this is definitely about me. <laughs> <laughs> like, <someone. laughs> But yeah, I can see where you're definitely coming from. I tell you what, I was watching NXT Takeover with uh, Champa and Gargano, and uh, Champa was sorry, Gargano was just leathering Champa with his belt, and the crowd were going, "You deserve it there." That's where that no, champ yeah, works that, for that's me. That's a good champ. That's there. a lovely champ. Oh, that what a match. Yeah, Gargano is ridiculous. Good. Champa's awesome. He I can't probably, wait for the next one. Yeah, it'll be good. I haven't seen NXT yet, so no one spoil me. Right, I like watching it, but I, just, I probably will never go there. Is that a scoop we've got there? Oh, That's no, one thing I want to no. ask you, by the way. You see when, because you're not normal when you see a fellow guy not out of, uh, not in WWE getting signed, where you go, oh, F that. Why are you going there? I don't want to go. Normally it's everyone going, good luck. You do say good luck, but you also... Oh, no, I go, good luck. Uh, I but, think you're, what, did you see the one that I, when Eo was like, yeah. That I one, that. I think I was, that's I was yeah. angry. Just cause, like, you don't normally say that, though. So is that like you saying you're, you're happy if it never, ever happens, WWE? Well, no, like, I just, I just feel like sometimes it's laziness, and I think that's actually one of my things that I'm going to, maybe later, so I'll leave right. it for a bit. We'll, we'll just, come back you, to do you want to segue straight into it? We can do I mean, we want. can do if you want. I mean, you deserve it. I can see where you feel. He's got it, he's there, Way! Come on! I like it. I thought it joined It's terrifying here, isn't it? Yeah. Now. But yeah, you deserve it straight yeah. in. Yep. So laziness then. Nice laziness little segue. A, yeah, in wrestling, just because I study wrestling. I'm a 101. I, I love wrestling. Like, it, I'll, it, if anything's hot and new, I'll study it and I'll look at it. And sometimes I agree with it, sometimes I don't. But like, these days, and I think in this generation, I think laziness is the biggest thing that annoys me right now. Like, pe- And I don't mean laziness is in like, oh, they go to the gym and uh, like, as in the signing for the sake of just signing, where they could go it alone and be the biggest star physically possible on their own terms. Instead, they want somebody else to do the work for them. Right. And that, that's the thing that grinds on me. Like With New Japan, I have all the freedom I want to do in my matches. And then you just 
you'll hear stuff from some of our friends that are a part of the NXT brand and you'll just hear like, oh, they told me I've got to do this and this and it made no sense. They'll be like, well, why don't you say something? Like, I think I'm a little, I'm a stubborn person where if I really don't like something, I'll just go, fine, I, I don't like this. And then I'll just, I'll do it. And no matter what, when that camera's live, you ain't stopping me. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm that, and if I get told off, I get told off and then I'll, yes, sir, no, sir. And I've done it before. New Japan, New Japan told me off once and I said, okay, it won't happen again. But like, I had to do it and it did actually get a good response from it. And yeah, but that's, I think laziness right now in wrestling where people just, they're just signing for the sake of signing. I want to say I work for WWE. Yeah. Like, a guy like AJ Styles is my inspiration. Right. So, the, when he went, he worked everywhere. He'd done TNA, he'd done Ring of Honor, he'd done New Japan. Yeah. And like, and even when he left TNA, like, they offered him, like, a small figure. And he went to New Japan, elevated himself higher than I physically thought he could ever do it. Yeah. And then finally went. And now, he like, he skipped NXT and he went, and that's what I want. Like, I, I, go, I think NXT's brilliant, but I just, I don't... I don't want to go to a performance center and be told how to bump all over again. Like, just, yeah, I, that's one thing I find weird about when they bring in, because you heard the story of like when Kevin Steen and those got signed. Yeah. They went straight down to like the beginner's ring and had to do all the roles and all the, like, the basics again. And I, like, one thing I don't like about WWE is the fact that everyone does everything the same. Like, you never see like, defined styles of like, strikes or... Yeah, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll say this. All right, and before I do say it, like I watched that beginning tag match of the Takeover Chicago, and I, I love Martin Stone and I love uh, Only Larkin. I love them to bits. I think they're great. But there was this, this one moment where they're looking at each other and like, do, do we do a hand sign na- now? Now, now, <laughs> it just doesn't feel organic, and that annoys me. And I'm just like, just be yourselves, and just maybe it was a miscommunication, or whatever. But it's just, it just feels like all scripted. It feels. And oh, Seth Rollins doing this whole burn it down. It's all marketing. Like, it's market, cringing isn't it? yeah. it's, 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 Oh god, it makes me, it makes my spine crawl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, it does it. It does it for me. But you say like with Seth Rollins with that, if they came, if, say like just hypothetically, you're there in so many years' time, and they come up with some catchphrase, you're like that catchphrase is burn it down, and it's on a t-shirt, and you're making money from that t-shirt, and they're saying, oh, to get this over, we want you to go burn it down, and everyone get on side with it, and like that's but money I, for you. Is that? I, I know because it needs to feel right it needs to feel right here and maybe it feels right for him but just for me watching it i was, I was watching monday night raw and i saw it go burn it down and i was just like <laughs> oh God. Is there a lot like, of, it literally just made me do that i was like ah is there a lot of that in the locker rooms you're a part of like just no, looking into the week is going oh and we're all just we're all just doing it for us because Not i mean like looking into the going oh that's horrible that is there a lot of that in your locker rooms from like a little bit yeah a little bit a little bit I'm not going to say who, because <laughs> I'll get in so much trouble. Yeah. I feel I'll get in trouble doing this, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> well, we'll have your back, don't worry. Oh, great. I don't know what new style will be, but you know, we'll have your back. Please open up your own promotion and pay me six figures a year. <laughs> That's never, ever going to happen. We are not going to be bringing in the name redacted pro wrestling to you. You heard that one before, name redacted what? pro wrestling? Can't, no, can't say the name around you. No, I've never heard of that before in my life. Good, good. That's the way it should be. <laughs> Right. So I, it's, this one's a really hard one for me to have any sort of input in because I've got no idea what it's like to be in your shoes, no idea what it's be like in their shoes. I guess it's all been about how confident you are in yourself, isn't it? Yes, and done, isn't it? The, the key thing is timing, I think. And if that's what that makes them happy, then so be it. But sometimes I just look at somebody and I think you can offer more and they just don't want it. And sometimes the answer isn't right there right now. Like sometimes, like for example, Maybe, uh, let's, let's say, for example, Travis Banks. Let's use him. I'm a huge fan of Travis Banks, yeah. and I love him as a person. Probably will be a key feature when, one day when I decide to get married. Like, he'll probably be one of these type of people that will probably be in our show. He'll be, he'll be there because he's, he's one of my best friends. But I look at Trav, and I'm, he's a hard-working guy. But he could have gone anywhere. He could have gone Ring of Honor. He could have gone New Japan. Although the offer's not there now. It could have come in like time. Like WWE is not going anywhere. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like, I'd have just stayed on the independents, worked my butt off. Like, you know, he's the progress world champion, the number one independent world champion, and he came out as a rosebud. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? I'm it's weird like, when you put it like it, that. It, it, when I put it like that, I feel like that is. Oh. I never knew that, by the way. He no, was a rosebud. He was, he was not a rosebud. What's the conga line doing? Oh, no way, Jose is. Yes, thingy, and yeah. I love him as well. Oh, That's oh. a sobering thought, that Travis Banks dancing around like that. I know he can because of that. He can because yeah. sexy Trav. Yeah, sexy Trav. But like, oh, this is, 
It's the number one independent wrestling champion ever. I'm just... He's a rosebud. Now I'm gonna, if you, if you want to hit that button yourself. Oh! Ah! I was gonna say, because it, it's not my place to decide, like, the laziness with him wrestling, because I just don't know. I'm on the outside, so it's in there, because you, yeah. you hit the button. Yeah, I like that. So I've got button. a clean conscience, not being too much of an arsehole. Yeah. So that's a, is that a wake up call from you for everybody? I hope it is. Like, I generally do. I generally hope someone listens to this and just goes, like, no, they are. He's a little bit right. Like, it's kind of laziness to sign now. I, I could go out, have my complete freedom. I mean, I see it from their point as well. They get a monthly guarantee. Yeah, about the bus Whatever. and everything sorted for them. Yeah, Take yeah. them to events and all that malarkey. Yeah, and the fact is, New Japan do the same thing, but I get to do whatever I want to do. Yeah. I'm not restricted anywhere besides Japan, Like, but I don't want to work anywhere else in Japan. But maybe they don't want to work. So We can bat and forth over it and over it and see it from other sides and their perspective and we need bills to pay and whatever but I just look at it as like I look at the Young Bucks for example and they were generation me and they could yeah, have done the yeah. WWE ages ago but instead they decided to work rebrand themselves and now they're probably up there with the richest people in independent pro wrestling kings of marketing and they, them, did, they? And they did that themselves and yeah. I'm inspired by that I'm inspired by Kenny Omega because they're doing it themselves and I just I look at everyone else and I'm just like oh, they're just doing all the work for them I just don't like it. Well, it's down there. Laziness is in hell. Laziness. So we're three for three. Let's try and make it four for four. Will, your fourth offering, please. Fight forever. The chant again? Yeah, the chant. Fight forever. Would you like to have a, an empty arena rush? Only because I know, I know, I know, like, oh, we're getting to the ending stage of this match. Fight forever. No, I'm tired. No, <laughs> I, I want this to end. I'm done. No. Have you ever got to that stage before where you've heard fight forever and thought, oh, bollocks, I've got to go another five minutes or something? Yeah. Does it kill you every time? Can you not stop yourself from doing it? Do you know what I hate more? When, like, I really don't enjoy a match and I won't ever, ever put it out and then everyone goes, we want the rematch! And they give them the rematch and I'm just like, no! <laughs> <laughs> like, the fans really enjoyed it, but as me as a person, I got beaten up to the point where I was like, oh, God, please don't ever do this again. <laughs> like, oh, no. And then they get given the rematch. I'm like, no! <laughs> that must be a difficult spot to be in. Because, like, you can't just say no and upset everybody because everyone should be pissed off at you well I, I could well yeah it's not going to affect me either way but it's I just get it I, I, I do get it I do softy. get it because the promoter is just like oh I can make money out of this and whatever and like he can make money I'm just like yeah no but I'm in pain and he hurt me <laughs> no like and then when they say fight forever I was like no I'm dying here the lights make this ring twice as hot has anyone seen how blown you ever get from doing a handspring that is the most tiresome thing in the world there's a reason I do it and then take like a minute to compose <sighs> yourself <laughs> fight forever no I'm tired one go home have you ever done that just turn around the crowd and said no <laughs> this is it goodbye see you later no because I want to Pretend I'm a Do it nice once. person. Yeah. So yeah, I guess I'm looking at this from a different perspective for you again. It's one of those chants that organically started quite nicely with, uh, I think it was Sami Zayn and Nakamura that match. Yeah. It was, that's oh, where it started. Oh, God, that was so good as and well. Kevin Owens but and Sami Zayn. I'm quite sure they heard that. And they're <laughs> thinking about it. It's like, no, we want this to end. It helped make it the match it was, though, didn't it? So, you know, like, do you think if you took that away, the experience of a match might become a little bit less no, some, because some... there's one thing that I like better than any chant ever. Any chant you give me, there's one thing I prefer than anything. And that's when it's the match is so good, the audience have no idea what to say, so they just stand and clap and just make noise. That's better than any chant T uh, ever. Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate had a great yes! one of those last year. Like, do you know what I mean? That's another thing where they were just, they just been themselves. Yeah. That whole match was themselves. I mean, you've put a, a very good case forward once again. I don't have to say no to you. You could do anything here today. And I'd just say yes. So yeah, fight forever. I've just broke the buzzer. Oh my God. Production values. are going to hell. So is this buzzer. Yep. <laughs> right, Will has just said this is very controversial, so let's hear it. Not for fans, but for wrestlers. But like, wrestlers with smelly gear. Does my head in. <laughs> <laughs> How? Like, all right, I get it if you are like on a bit of a long tour and there's no washing machines. But if there's even a sink, I wash my gear in a sink because like sometimes you'll just sweat and everyone sweats. Yeah. Everybody in the world sweats. But like if it goes on your gear and you have one set of gear for a weekend of shows, like that, all right, a weekend might be a bit stretching because I understand that. But like I remember when we was doing a show and it was like six days in a row 
And just by the end of it, this guy's gear just <laughs> stunk. It was like the worst of anything. Like, I'm so conscious of having like a bad smell on me or anything. Like, so I, I have like a whole bag in my bag. I've even got one today. And it's got a lush body spray, aftershave, <laughs> vapor rub, deep heat. Like, I just, I don't want that reputation of someone just being coming over and just going like, hey man, you've got stinky heat. <laughs> like, Does that happen, qu happen quite often? I don't do it because I'm scared, like, of the consequences, but I have had to do it. Like, I've had to, I've had to tell a couple of people, mate, you stink, like, it's so, it's rancid, it's bad. Like, and here's the thing, like, I do realise something, like, even when you're travelling, right, everybody wakes up with morning breath. No yeah, one, yeah. yeah, right, so for example, but sometimes people fall asleep on the train, and they go, like, you're right, uh, no, still have a bit of breath because you've, you've fallen asleep, I don't get it, it's moisture, but when you wake up, some... So like I'll just be like nice about it. I just go, hey man, do you want a breath mint? But like that is me basically saying you need this in breath mint. Oh no, I swore. Will I want? Will I want? But no more. Yellow card there for Will I spray? Oh, one more oh, red card. One more. So the one word I'm not allowed to say. Oh, do we have carry to do on. the whole thing again? Or just no, no, carry it? on. Oh, great. I thought he was going to bleep. You've got a yellow card. Oh god. One more and you're off. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I saved it. Half I saved a morning, you're off. <laughs> I, I saved it. I didn't say it, but no, I just yeah, the smell. Wrestlers that smell bad really get on. Like I spray myself with aftershave, body. I literally was doing a photo shoot a while ago with some fans, and I got like ten odd tweets to saying that I smelled really nice. That's that the greatest. Right, yeah, that's the greatest compliment I've ever had. You could say, oh, that matches five stars. I'd much prefer if you said, you know what, he smells good, doesn't he? <laughs> like, you know what, I'd much prefer it. So, stinky wrestlers, wash your gear. There's a sink in your hotel room or something. Buy some body body spray or just like, some Lush. Lush is a, like a beautiful spray and it's called Dad's Lemon Garden or something like that. It's something, Dad's Lemon Garden? It's something like that. And I spray that on my gear just before, I, just before I wrestle and just after I wrestle. And I hang my gear out and I spray it. And then if it's, if it's really bad, I will like, and there's no washing facilities, I'll fill up the sink with water and I'll wash it in that. But I, I can't stand stinky wrestlers. It just st strikes me as bad manners if you've got a stinky wrestler. Yes! And I just don't get it. Like, and Especially when you're going to be so close to each other and yeah. all sorts. Yeah. No one wants to hug a sweaty man either. Like, that's a, oh, Some that's, people do. That is, I'll tell you what, I, actually, I, I commend fans for wanting to have a photo with me after I've had a match and I'm all sweaty by the merch table and they're putting their arm around me. I'm just like, oh my God, my sweaty back. What are you doing? I'm going to try and clone you with the DNA. You know what, the worst <laughs> thing is, they'll do it, they'll do that. And I, no, off you go like white back, you should just do that. They'll go like that, thanks. And they're just walking away with their hands still there, like, oh! Keep it there for later. Oh, try, God, try and what are you clone doing? You. Wash your hands. It's my body sweat. I completely get what you're saying though, because it's just an everyday life. A smelly person, you just don't want, especially in, in a public situation. Isn't there no need, is there? No. Just have a wash. Breath mints are available for Spray. like 50p as well. I've got to agree with you again. Yeah. It must be heightened as well. I just can't, yeah. Think, if think, I was a wrestler, right. I'd be very conscious think, about think, Yeah, I, I, honestly, that's my biggest fear. That is honestly my biggest fear. Because word must spread someone's quickly. Someone's pulled me to one side and just goes, mate, you stink. Like, <laughs> Like, imagine, imagine that. Just looking them dead in the eye and just go, look. We've all talked about it. <laughs> you you stink. You go home and like, cry, wouldn't you? And shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people, some people just go, no, I don't. Like, no, what? <laughs> so this is explained because you're famous for having like a million pairs of gear, aren't you? Yeah. Is this is this part of the reason why? Just so you've always got never, something fresh. Never, never happened to me. No one's ever pulled me on one side and said you stink. I said the only time, like. And B, B would just wake me up in the morning and just go, go brush your teeth, your breath stinks. Right. <laughs> like, and I'll go do it straight away. Yeah. Like, that's the relationship we have. But like, wrestlers, I don't know you. Like, I know you from wrestling, but that's it. But imagine me going up to someone just going like, hey man, your breath stinks. Or like, hey man, like your, your gear stinks. It's, it's awkward. It makes you feel like less of a man. I guess it's better to say than just say now and just let everyone experience it. Yeah, what, rather one person experience it than everybody. Thing, I'll just, I'd rather just say it. I'd rather just be like, look, I'm doing this because I'm looking out for you and I actually like you as a person. Your gear stinks. Please, please wash it. Do anything you can. Like, it's not the hardest. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. I mean, I don't like smelly people. Smelly people can go to hell. Hell! That's just in general, not just wrestling. Yeah, smelly people. Go away, smelly people. Smelly people. That's it then, five for five. Congratulations, Will. I'm sure this is one of the biggest accomplishments of your career so far. It's up there with the best super juniors. It's up there. <laughs> Doesn't get much bigger than that. Where can we find you on the internet and things? The internet and things. I am Will Osprey on both Twitter, 
Instagram and Facebook page. Uh, spelling of Osprey is O S P R E A Y. Some people get mixed up. TNA did that once upon a time. They put E Y. Then they put AY, they couldn't make up my name. That's so not they, like them to make a mistake like that. <laughs> never. Well, to be fair, it is getting a lot better now. Yeah, that Don of Callis, course, yeah. Now yeah. that Don Callis is back in charge, it's so much better. Uh, to find my uh, merchandise store, you can either go to uh, Pro Wrestling Tees forward slash William Osprey. For some strange reason, they have not changed that to Will Osprey. But Very formal. It's now William Osprey, which is my real name. Please don't find me on Facebook. Uh, and uh, I think everyone will now. <laughs> um, and the other merchandise will be uh, willosprey.bigcartel.com. And uh, for anything you guys want to keep up to date, I've opened up my own uh, Japanese style promotion here in England called Frontline Pro Wrestling. So if anyone would like to buy tickets, it is Frontline Rest, as in W R E S, because I didn't want wrestling because that's so long to type out. But and Frontline Big Cartel was taken, but Frontline Rest. Dot bigcartel.com and Frontline Puro, which is P-U-R-O, on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to find you in a lot of places. You then. can find me in a lot of places, but I'd just like to plug the promotion. I want that to do well, and I'd like to influence the Japanese style over here in England, because I feel like Japanese wrestling is probably the best wrestling in the world. I couldn't agree with you more. Yep. I, I couldn't agree with you. That would be silly to can say, send, wouldn't it? Can we send <laughs> Japanese wrestling to heaven? If you want. Is there a button? Uh... Because that's the hell button. Just throw that in the air. Wait, that's not plugged in. No. There's. It's uh, it's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi enabled. Oh, right. So, wait, Wi-Fi travels. power. Yep, yeah, that, that gives off Wi-Fi signals and uh, it goes down to hell. But yeah, via that's, that. that's where you can find me and please help me support Frontline Rest. Do you guys want to come? You yeah. You guys have tickets? Come down. Where's that? Uh, Stratford Circus, Thursday the 28th of June. Get the day off work. You guys know the owner. <laughs> Get there well, for come down, yeah, come down. I'll, give, I'll put you a part of the show. You can do commentary if you want. Oh, that would be a bad idea. Why not? Did you you ever listen? I used to do that for Name Redactive Pro Wrestling. Uh, name Redactive Pro Wrestling. Who's that? <laughs> but uh, no, I do know. But no, I oh, no be, to be I fair, think, I did be Jim Ross. Fair, I think you guys got the big internet following. You guys could add some stuff to my promotion. Come yeah, on, I'll just, come on down. Commentary wouldn't be a, a good you? idea for me. Why don't you come down as well? He could be the general manager. Yes. yes. Go on. I, I dare you. <laughs> Go on. I'm bringing in. No, you're not. No, no. What about Pacini Club? That... Get the old band get back no. together. <laughs> By the way, bleep out the name as well. I mean, I just, just realised you went <laughs> that too, and I was just like, please bleep this all out because I actually like. So frontline wrestling. Yeah. Pacini uh, Club making the big return. He's gonna come down and. Uh... King Ross will be on the... Uh, oh, you can't say that. They've trademarked that. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll have I'm to bleep ruined, everything. I'm ruining this for everybody. <laughs> this whole last section. It was going well. Just bleep, bleep, bleep. Bollocks it now. Uh, we've, we've this it. is the last ever straight what, to hell. Can you say bollocks? <laughs> yeah. can, can say, say bollocks, bollocks, yeah. 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 Do you want to bollocks. say bollocks a few times? Bollocks. Damn. Bollocks. Bollocks. Will, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. This end bit's been a bit of a shaky scenario, but you know. I think leave it in. We've got through.